Yeah. Well, um, I'm relatively new to New Orleans, been here just under three years. And um, I would say from the standpoint of practicing in the ER, the kind of friendliness and mixing bowl um, characteristics of New Orleans, meaning there's all kinds of people who live here um, together and that diversity is really celebrated as a city and that shows up when you treat people in the ER. Folks are really generally incredibly friendly, incredibly thankful. It, you know, it might surprise some people to find out that in some settings you work in the ER and you hardly ever get a thanks and I would say it's just the opposite here. The biggest challenge that is different is probably uh, the uh, looming awareness and the specter of a big storm. So uh, we at Oxner, um, this hospital that you're sitting in was the only hospital taking care of children that stayed open after Katrina. Um, our pediatric intensive, year, intensive care unit stayed open. So we go through around this time of year, actually a few months ago, a very, um, a very careful planning, um, staffing model for different levels of emergency and how we'll manage what staff will be in the hospital at the start, how they'll get relieved, that kind of thing. And, you know, disaster planning and disaster management is something that all hospitals across the country are responsible for doing, but I think here it has that reality of what happened uh, 11 or 12 years ago, and so folks are um, very, very professional about it, and it's incredibly well thought out and planned, and so I think everyone feels comfortable that if and when, God forbid, something like that would happen again, we would be um, very well equipped to take care of them here at Oxner.